You're listening to a portion of our conversation from episode 243, featuring the Jurassic Wire, with myself, Brad Jost, and co-host, Aaron Beyer. If you want to hear the full conversation, download the full episode on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Today, we discuss some potentially spoilery items for Jurassic World Dominion. Some recent items were found in Target's system relating to upcoming Amber Collection figures that may or may not be a part of Jurassic World Dominion. We discuss those pieces and how they may relate to the film, so be warned, there could be some spoilers here for Jurassic World Dominion. Do not listen if you do not want to know anything about the upcoming film. That is your warning, so be warned and proceed with caution. Be sure to let us know what you think, and of course, we hope you enjoy it. So, uh, we're going to be talking about some spoilers here. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, spoiler. hello. Spoilers. Spoilers, spoiler. spoilers, spoilers. Spoiler. If, you're, if you're listening on the podcast, spoilers as well. Tune out if you don't want to hear this. Um, but yeah, so what these spoilers contain um, is listing information from Target, apparently here in New Jersey. Uh, this was not me. I did not find any of this stuff. Um so, again, spoilers for potentially Jurassic World Dominion and toy stuff. If you don't want to know any of those, get out of here. Um, all right. So first off, this um, I'm going to read a little bit of information here from the official Jurassic World Facebook group. Um, I found a post here from David Kowalski, and it says uh, the listing is from the forum and will contain some minor species confirmations for Dominion. Um, so he posts it in the comment section. Um, and this was found, like I said, at a, uh, f- a f- by a fan that works at a Target in New Jersey. Found a listing, listing in the system for new Amber Collection stuff. Um, and this, I guess this is the forum post here, but it says... Um, also, it's, it starts off by saying, just because it's in our system does not mean we will be selling it. Um there's mm-hmm. a few items that they indicate that they never got around to selling. So, and plus, the Amber Collection has never been in a Target, so that is kind of interesting in and in, in, in of itself. We've never had any kind of um, Amber Collection collector stuff for Jurassic. We have all the Mattel stuff, right. but um, there is a section in Target that is like collector specific. It's like behind DVDs or like behind you know electronics or something like that. Um, they usually have some cool stuff over there, like NECA stuff or Funko pops and different things. But, uh, if we were to see this, that would be awesome. Um, so potential dinosaur spoilers for Jurassic world dominion. There's 17 entries found in the system and they are as follows. Delta grant Malcolm Dilophosaurus pyroraptor pteranodon Deinonychus. Nedry, Hammond, Dr. Arnold, uh, Velociraptor, Dimorphodon, Tiger Raptor, JP1 Velociraptor, Ellie, Echo. Um, 17 was another Malcolm, but the difference was in the title. Uh, with this, okay, that was an error or something. Um, all the dinosaurs are $29.99, all the humans are $19.99. Um, blah, 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 blah. And uh, let's see, anything else? No, not too much else there. But so the the species list could potentially be a spoiler warning for Jurassic World Dominion. If you if you paid attention there, we had a Pyroraptor, um, potentially Pteranodon, yeah. Deinonychus, Tiger Raptor, which maybe is that just a repeat? Some of these are seem to be repeats um, of you know past movies, kind of like. Yeah, I would assume Echo and Delta. I will Delta. buy a Tiger Raptor. Like that is a hundred percent buy for me. Is a Tiger Raptor. Like, oh, one hundred percent. I, I mean, I've told that to them directly. Like, we need a Tiger Raptor. That needs to happen. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I feel like some of these are you just repeats. We've we've um we have Nedry. We have uh, Dilophosaurus. We have um a bunch of raptors. I think um. What's the latest raptor to hit? Was it Char- Charlie, right? No, Charlie, there's another one. I think it might be Delta. 
if I remember correctly. People have been getting, I think, Delta um, okay. from the Amber Collection. So I know a few people already have that one. Um, but uh, I'm really interested in the fact that a potential Pyroraptor and Deinonychus um, could be in this movie. Uh, it, this is what? this is all a bit interesting, though, to me, because it's like random stuff. Like they're saying they might not be selling this stuff, but it's popping up in their system. Um, Amber Collection at Target, very confusing. And the fact that there's only two new species little weird right so let's talk about let's talk about pyroraptor and deinonychus mm -hmm. so this week on twitter uh jurassic world fandom uh at bryce nader um was he posted something and it was like confirmed you know um feathered dinosaur and he was like i just want to thank outpost for the tidbit and i was like okay that's news to me like that'll be a big wire topic right if if the outpost has broken something like a feathered uh, dinosaur, because and it's not really, I, sh I should say it is a spoiler, and I'm glad we're in a spoiler section. But like, that's not been like confirmed ever. We've there's been speculation that this mm -hmm. would be the movie to add feathers because everyone wants the feathers, like except for this guy right here. Um, but people want the feathers. I they want. want they want Jurassic World to represent what Jurassic Park did, which was as closely accurate to dinosaurs as we know, right? And so, boom, first thing I did, oh, thanks to Outpost for the big scoop. So I jump over to the Outpost website to see their article, because that's what I use Outpost for, is for um, the news they offer on their website. Sure. And there's just it's nothing. It's completely bare. <laughs> and so, like I do, I, I wrote, you know, I tweeted back like, hey – what is the outpost source on this? Because I don't see anything on their website. And he goes, Oh, it was on their latest podcast. Okay. I don't listen to the outpost podcast on a regular basis. Let me go download the episode. Let me check that out. And in there, they mention like that a source uh, told them via email that there is going to be a feathered dinosaur in Jurassic World Dominion through the Biosyn connections. Like that's what Biosyn is making. Now that really wasn't all that interesting to me. Cause to me, like, I'm like, okay, like sure could or couldn't happen. We don't know. Now you look at Pyro Raptor and you, uh, if you just Google Pyro Raptor, like you said, you were like, Oh, that's a, that's a feathered one. Well, they were all kind of feathered, but when you Google Pyro Raptor, that's all you see is feathered, um, is like you see a raptor basically with feathers and it looks just yeah. like a velociraptor okay and with feathers on its back and on its head now and then on its tail now colin said no more hybrids right he said mm -hmm. they're done with hybrids for the time being that this movie was going to focus only on real dinosaurs okay pyro raptor is a real dinosaur by all descriptions of this thing it is feathered it basically is a velociraptor. This uh, this image shows it being um, about three times the size of like a cat. But let's face it, velociraptors aren't real velociraptors in the Jurassic Park mm -hmm. franchise, right? Yeah. So they can scale this thing up to be the new bad of Jurassic World Dominion. It's blue versus the pyroraptor, right? Yeah. New old tech versus new tech, right? Classic dinosaur versus... Uh, Biosyn dinosaur. So I 100% now think that the Pyroraptor is going to be the thing. I mean, it's got the word fire in its name, right? Uh -huh. It's got the word pyro. <laughs> this is, come on, this is the new bad dinosaur of the Jurassic World franchise. I think, I don't, I don't know about Deinonychus too much, but I feel like I can like 90% feel confident that Pyroraptor is going to show up in Dominion. And honestly, that's underwhelming to me. Like, I just, it's just a velociraptor with feathers. Like, I don't, <laughs> it's got a cool name, right? Like, it's, yeah. Well, velocity, you... velocity, fast, pyro, fire, like, bad, you know? Like, I don't well, know, do man. You... I think this is, I think this is real, this pyro raptor thing. Yeah. I mean, we've been saying it for a while, and I think specifically mentioning, like, about Biosyn, and, and that is the place where they would make these. 
And it just seems like the most plausible thing. Um, and I don't know. I, I would kind of be interested to see that like two to three foot version or whatever, you know, the original, the actual Velociraptor size. Um, because I feel like it would just make people mad all over the world to see a version that is the same size as the Velociraptor uh, or in the movie Velociraptor. Um, I do have an image up on the screen for people who are watching, but uh, it's a iteration from Jurassic World Alive. So the mobile app where you can capture your dinosaurs is pretty awesome looking rendition. Um, but uh, yeah, and I would be interested to see small versions of this, you know, like uh, just a bunch of them or something like that. That would be kind of interesting. Um, but overall, I yeah, if they scaled this up, I'd be kind of happy with that too. Deinonychus, I feel like, like, why bother having that if it's the same? It's the same thing as a, the movie version of yeah, Velociraptor. It, it just so is a little bit different why? head sculpt or whatever, but like it's the same. Right. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I, it is interesting, though, that these two things were in there. Um, don't know really, really what it means, but um, I guess it's interesting nonetheless. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I think maybe I'm connecting too many dots. Maybe I'm taking too much stock in hearsay or, like, you know, what people claim they've got sources of. But mm -hmm. I think... I feel pretty confident in saying that I think this animal is going to show up in some form. I mean, I think Deinonychus is such a weird animal now to have listed. Um, not that Deinonychus hasn't been shown in the Jurassic franchise. Like, there's Deinonychus in Jurassic World Evolution. I'm, I hate the design of it in mm -hmm. that game. Um, but it's interesting. nonetheless, it is there. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah. I mean, this is kind of yeah. like not much of a story to go off of, but um, as far as the the amber collection portion of all of this, if this does happen, that is incredible. And that is a, a huge addition, all of these, a huge addition to this amber collection line. Now, like I said, we do have some of these already, like I guess Delta, mm -hmm. Malcolm we have, Dilo we have, Nedry we have. Um, but, uh, Velociraptor we have Dimorphodon. I, I mean, like why? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it would be interesting and, you know, a little bit, something a little bit different. Um, the thing that kind of bugs me is, is the fact that it's just like 95 Raptors. And I've said this time and time again, I kind of want to see them branch out. I know it's kind of hard to do because every, everybody's like, I can't wait to see them do a T-Rex. I'm like, that's never happening. They're never going to make a T-Rex version. That would be the same size as the Super Colossal. Imagine that being super poseable, real feel. That would be massive and heavy, and it would be like a hundred something bucks. I just don't imagine that's happening. 200 yeah, bucks. That's why I didn't want to get involved with the Amber Collection, because it doesn't fulfill, <laughs> it doesn't fulfill what I want out of Jurassic, which is I want a world. I want a park. And sure. just, yeah. You can't do that. Like the best you can do are raptors. I feel like. Um, yeah, and but it's like it's like well, one. yeah, Dilophosaurus is great, and but it's like another similar stature kind of dinosaur. Yes, it's a little bit smaller, but you have well, it's weird weird that you have JP one Velociraptor on this list, but also Velociraptor. So I don't know what the difference is there. You have a Tiger Raptor. <laughs> you got. It's just so many raptors here, Echo and and Delta. But uh, yeah. you know, one thing that that seems to be missing would be Claire. I don't see Claire on here. Um, I feel like Claire oh. Jurassic World Claire is like you got to make Jurassic World Claire. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. But do you think that I, I just I don't understand the Claire stuff? Like she had fewer regular size action figures, but like they're hard to get. They were never easy to get. Um, I still don't have Claire. The, the one with, that came with the Stegosaurus. Still oh, don't, you have, don't that. have that one. No, I only have the, the story pack version, um, which came with, you know, it was a different outfit and the gyrosphere ball. Um, I think that's what it came with. We're, and we were actually, were we, were we, did Mattel provide us with that one? I think so. I think they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so I don't know, man. Like it's, 
I don't know. What do you like? Do you do you dig anything deeper into that than just? I think the Pyro Raptor thing is by far the most interesting thing, and I'm honestly not that. That doesn't thrill me. Like, sure. Yeah. Know. Again, it's 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 fine. Like, I don't see it as a big bad or anything. I find it interesting that there's the connection. I don't know if it's because of the outpost confirmation or whatever, but it is kind of weird that there's whoever posted this initially was like, well, this is could be spoilers for the movie. It might be. I mean, it might be a part of it, but it's weird that like those are the only two that are a little bit different. What I briefly heard on Outpost was not even necessarily a confirmation. It felt like hearsay. It honestly felt like something that maybe they didn't even have, like maybe they shouldn't have said, because I feel like (laughs) if they should have said it, there would be an article (laughs) plastered on their website, right? Sure, yeah. Well, if you say it on a podcast, it's still said. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's not like you have to. Di- I think you have to dig. You have more to dig. You podcast, have to find it. Right. You have to find like you have to find the second marker that they said it right. Sure. Whereas if it's a story on their website, it's right there for the world to see. Right. So, mm-hmm. um, I don't know. I I I try to even like take that with a grain of salt. Right. Um. You know, I, I like to see, I, I am with you. I like to see press, you know, press. And I like to see official announcements and I like to see mm. artwork. I don't like this, like, well, I got an email from a secret source, you know, uh, and I saw a, a leaked toy from a magazine. It's like, oh man, I don't know. Like <laughs> how much can you really grab from sure. that? Like we, yeah, I mean, I we don't talking, know. Go ahead. You can finish. No, I, we were talking about Hamada today, and I was talking to uh, Jack Ewins and, and some other Jurassic fans about, like, you know, why have the ACU when you could have just mined the dino trackers that, like, were already done? And the, the, I think the real answer is because Kenner probably, like, trademarked dino trackers, right? Mm-hmm. And so you then have to, like, kind of create something similar, um, you know, but it's like, I guess before Jurassic World, people were under the impression that like Hamada was going to be like a main character and he's got like 30 seconds of screen time, you know? I think it was intended to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, But yeah. Oh, was he intended to be bigger? I think so. Um, I will take an ACU show or movie. ACU. More ACU. Um, I'd be down for that. I'd be down. Really into Dude, they have to. They didn't just sit. They didn't just exist on that island to take down the Indominus Rex. No, no one was paying a full crew to just like wait for something to happen. Like I love <laughs> like my wife and I watch like Secrets of the Zoo, and uh-huh. I watch that show. I'm like, man, I just want to dub this with Jurassic Park terminology, and I want to just replace all the animals with dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. Like, See, yeah, but that's I what they did. That- you know, like. Like, uh, you know, probably the portion in the beginning of the movie where you see the uh, Pachycephalosaurus is is tranked. Um, so they're the guys that are standing around waiting for something to happen, but they yeah. tranked it, so it's fine. Um, but I want to see more of those problems. Like, that's mm-hmm. that's what yeah. gets me excited about Jurassic Park. I'm not, really, I'm not really into this world that now we're entering where now it's a global thing i'm i'm mm-hmm. still really just interested in the day-to-day runnings of the park and it's unfortunate because i think a lot of people have that same feeling you know i think a yeah. lot of people still want to go back and revisit that park and i just don't think we're ever going back there i don't know they love that moment in time though so who knows but um it's specifically it's that downfall moment so i don't know i you know it's interesting that they're not tying more into this with this 17 entries found in the system here. There's nothing really else except for Echo and Delta, but I would expect them to finish out that series, you know, with Echo. Um, and mm-hmm. Echo was was a an entirely different topic that we actually didn't really cover here today. Um, Echo is is just a mess when it comes to the toy figures. See, so, you say this, but like it just it just doesn't bother me because honestly, like for me, no. if it's not a traditional brown raptor or it's not a tiger raptor, I'm just like, eh, it's just a raptor. I think Charlie sure. is probably my favorite of like the new series because it is reminiscent to me of like what the book describes mm-hmm. raptors as is like being green. Um, but I just I I just have a problem when it says Echo on the box, 
says the Velociraptor Echo. And then when you look at the Raptor, it clearly does not look anything like what the movie showcased. And and they can't even, sure. it's not even sticking to a formula. So I have no clue what this Echo is going to look like. Because when you look at their past Echoes, it's like, well, actually, I'll bring the image up. Why not? Um, you have a Velociraptor Echo, uh, Savage Strike from Camp Cretaceous, which is like brown and red and black. And then you also, you have underneath that, I have a few iterations here on our video. You have the movie version, which doesn't look anything like that top one. You have the uh, Jurassic World Evolution version, which looks pretty similar to the movie version. You yeah, have- I think the Jurassic World Evolution one looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, you have the this like image, this promo image thing with Blue, Delta, Charlie, Echo. Uh, and that's, you know, that's close. And then you have this attack pack version, which is that crouching version, uh, which I don't know what is going on there. Um, hey, it's it, brown and green. I mean, it more so looks like the evolution version, but just not very well painted. But right. it, it makes me worried for what is com- going on in Camp Cretaceous, you know, with, with that raptor. Does it look like that in Camp Cretaceous or is that just a bad paint job? Um, well, wait, we, wait, we know what it looks like in Camp Cretaceous, though. And it looks like this. It looks like this raptor. Because we have the T-shirt design. Yeah, the T-shirt looks like this brown and black and red raptor. Doesn't look like the actual Echo. So, I mean, what is the Amber Collection version look like? We have these other versions that look pretty close to their mm-hmm. counterparts. Like Blue looks good. I think Charlie looks great. Delta looks, you know, close enough. I think, and uh, I just don't want this to be out of sync. But um, yeah, uh, the other ones are fine. I'm, I'm very excited for Hammond and, and all that. There's not really all that much in the way of spoilers here because it's all conjecture and uh, right. really no confirmation. And like you were saying about that confirmation from the from Outpost, it's like, what is the confirmation based off of? Is it based off of a toy listing or is it based off of what was seen in the movie? Do you, did they say that at all or? Because uh, no, you know. I mean, I I didn't listen too much. I was I was working while I was while I was kind of listening. But um, again, it's just really weird. No, there was just like it was like emails. And I think what's off with the outpost guys is that I just not guys, but uh, women as well. Like, I just they're involved in the marketing with like chaos theorem and stuff. And so I don't know. They they ride a pretty fine line and. Like I said, there's things that like Colin comes out and says, and I'm like, man, I can't believe he said that, but you know, he's the director. <laughs> like what's he, you know, what are they yeah. going to do? Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah. That's a different know. story. I feel like, I feel like those guys, especially as it gets closer to the movie, um, it's going to be harder and harder for them to write content and, and say their piece on a podcast. Um, when they do know so much information, if you were a, psychotic enough to go through and listen to like all of the episodes now of the jurassic park podcast and you listen from like <laughs> when i and people do and i did it so i say i don't say talk about our listeners like that no I, I say it with much love but like i think if you listen to like when i started doing the show with you and then to now there's a definite gap in there where you notice that i really don't talk about jurassic world fallen kingdom in any way like yeah. we strategically we strategically used me to do like a like when the trailer came out it was like it was like oh aaron can't actually talk about the trailer let's have him uh because we still because i still wanted to be a part of the podcast and I, mm-hmm. I i think that was reciprocated right and it was like well let's have aaron moderate a discussion that way aaron can still be a part of it yeah yeah but, not have to say anything or not have to agree with anything and just be like, I literally just sat there and was like, that's an interesting thought. What do you think about this shot? You know, <laughs> this movie, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's tough know, position, it's, man. I, I don't know how that all works out, but um, it's a tough position to be in. Yeah. But whether that confirmation and this listing coincides, I, I, I guess, um, I mean, maybe do you I think I'm know? connecting a lot of dots or do you think I have like, well, I don't know. I feel I feel like there's a whole lot of dots being connected here, 
and I'm not too sure why. So uh, whether this is part of Jurassic World Dominion, I don't know because there's so much here that is not Dominion related. So, um, and we know as far as the rest of the line is concerned, we have Siats, Micororum, we have, you know, Tarbosaurus. We have all these things that are not film related. So I don't have a Siats. Well, I don't have one either, but um, they do have those things. They are available somewhere. Um, <laughs> I, I really want that Seats, but these are things that are, are made, but not related to the movies. So, you know, yeah, but, is that going to pay off in this way? Is, is this listed because Delta has a scene in Jurassic World Dominion? Does Echo have a scene in, in Dominion? Does a tig- tiger raptor, a random velociraptor? Is, is Dr. Arnold... Is he a doctor? Is that this is, should she say Dr. Arnold when she's He's an looking engineer. around? Could he be a doctor? I have no clue. I have no idea. The doctor? Is he a doctor? I don't know. Um Doctor is below PhD, right? I I, I don't know. <laughs> MIT, so, yeah, I'm gonna assume that Arnold went to MIT. Can I just He's, Google? Because MIT uh, says MIT give out i know he says hold hold on to your butts does that give you a doctorate Doctorate. i don't know i don't know oh mit offers a phd program so like they've got to offer doctorate programs as well so he could be a doctor maybe i don't know i she she might even say ellie might even say dr arnold i I, I, i'm not too sure arnold she might say doctor mr Mr. she might say mr arnold i mean we could figure this out real quick you know we really could. <laughs> um, um, let me. Uh, oh, I got it up here. Let's let's see if it okay. uh, if it coincides. Uh, let me turn on this so you can hear it. It's like the movie won't display. Why? Oh, whoa, it's so loud. Okay, hold on. I don't know why it's not displaying. So I can't even see the movie. It's past all this, right? Oh, it's like go to no the last Tim. like forty minutes. Oh nope, that's too far. Oh, we're a little bit, a little bit before that. A little bit before that. Nope, nope, a little bit after that. Sorry. Here it is, Mister. Right? There was a Mister in there. I heard Mister. Okay, I mean. So I don't know. I don't know. Who's Dr. Arnold? Is it a new is it a guy in Jurassic World Dominion? <laughs> I don't I know. I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> After the whole like who's the who's the vet in Jurassic Park and uh Harding. After the whole Harding incident where we start like <laughs> relating them as like relatives. Yeah, everybody's you know? related. I don't everybody's know. Related. I I don't yeah, find a huge bunch of inf- you know, I don't find too much from this, so we'll see. I'm interested though if this becomes the, the Amber Collection. I'm very very excited. I love the Amber Collection. So, what do you think this means for Amber Collection going forward? If it's in the Target system, do you think that Amber Collections becomes less exclusive than Boy, what it I is now? So. I mean, isn't Amber Collection right now just GameStop? No. So Amber Collection kind of didn't really work at GameStop all that well. Now they're selling the Raptor, or uh, the Raptor was on sale. I think the other day. Um, you can buy Malcolm for seven dollars, but um, yeah. then it moved over to Entertainment Earth. You have um, um, where, where was Blue from? I forget where Blue came from, and maybe Entertainment Earth. Um, but um, yeah, what uh, Blue and Owen? I don't know. I think they were Entertainment Earth, and then definitely Dennis and the Dilophosaurus from Entertainment Earth. Uh, Charlie okay. was from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, and then Delta was just on Amazon. So See, it's I've all over the place. You're on Amazon Canada, but they want like well, $60 for Owen and $57 for the Brown Raptor, which they yeah, so they yeah. done a JP1 Raptor. I didn't even well, realize. Like, Yeah, yeah, that's the original one. Yeah, that and that thing's beautiful. Um, that was originally exclusive to GameStop. But now, like, like with the, um, like we were talking about with the Dennis Nedry figure with the canister, like, it was exclusive to 
Entertainment Earth, but then it wasn't. So like, I feel like that's happened with all of the Amber collections so far is it was, but right. then it wasn't. Then they're all on Amazon. Who knows? Um, so if they, if they end up saying like, look, Target, we, we want these figures, you know, Target wants these figures, but we'll put them in, we won't put them on the main shelf. We'll put them on that back shelf where all the other collector figures are. Um, yeah. I think I recently heard that Godzilla is, not, NECA is not making Godzilla anymore. Is that something that I heard? Oh, I thought I, I read know. that That's somewhere. Crazy. But again, I say some crazy things here on the podcast, so I don't know. Um, maybe they need some some something to fill the space. Um, could be Jurassic. It's a shame when you walk in that back aisle. It is. It's like it's the land of everyone who is up on their marketing, right? You go back mm-hmm. there, you got the Harry Potter stuff, you got the Disney yeah. stuff, the Marvel stuff, the uh, Star Wars stuff, uh, yeah, video game stuff, and it's like. Jurassic is missing. It's one of the biggest franchises of all time. Why is yeah. Jurassic not on that that shelf at Target? And cool. Like if this is going to be the place, I think it would do very well at Target. You know. Yeah. That being said, they do have um, all the Ghostbuster Plasma series, which is essentially the same thing. It's like the Black series for for Star Wars. Black series is in the main aisle. Um, the Ghostbusters Plasma stuff is in the main aisle. Um, so maybe they could put this in the main aisle. I don't know. But um, maybe because the other brands, the other things, Harry Potter and Godzilla and all that stuff are not necessarily on the main shelves. But um, Jurassic is. So I don't know. I mean, I have seen Jurassic on that shelf before. Um, I have the Funko T-shirt. did a bigger mm-hmm. like T-Rex. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Um, I never yeah, s- and I never saw that there. I don't think. Oh, I have no. it. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so I shouldn't say I've never seen it there, but it is rare um, to see any kind of Jurassic merch in that section. I, I love that section of Target. I miss Target. We don't have Target. <laughs> I want Target back uh, so bad. It is a nice place. Um, but uh, will they carry the potentially spoilery Jurassic World Dominion stuff? Who knows? I don't know. Um, either way, I'm excited by what's offered here. Um, if this is legit, that's that's awesome. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. But uh, that's about it. All right. <laughs> cool. End tape. How do you end a after show? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> awkwardly and long and just draining. And then you can just fade out my voice <laughs> like I'm talking out right now and you can just fade me down that would be an amazing way to I'll, I'll get this good.